drunk again, Arthur. Oh, me too, sir. <laughs> <laughs> If there's anything I can do for you, sir, you know you only have to ask. I know that, Pat. How's Ramona? Oh, she's grand, thanks, sir. Mr. Nairn got us permission to get married. That's good. Hi. Well, you know, I like her an awful lot, sir, and what with the wee one on the way, I suppose Mr. Nairn thought it would be best. So when's the wedding? Well, as soon as I can find a priest. She's got herself a wedding dress, so she has. It's got frills. Harry, you know what women are like, sir. Aye. No one at all, Pat. Mm. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They like marrying, so they do. Especially when they're pregnant. <laughs> Go to a pal. I need you. <laughs> Eight, Patrick. Well, how's she doing? Young Patrick, how's she doing then? He might be a girl. Eh? Well, I can tell you. As long as it's one or the other, I don't mind. Como está usted, sargento? Bien. Gracias. Usted? Encantado de conocerte. What does that mean? I am pleased to know you. I'm pleased to know you too. Do you know? The old soup isn't too bad either. Your faint right and thrust left. Make your faint your attack, sir. Just knock the shite out of him, sir. Good luck. I wouldn't smile yet if I were you. We're played by your rules. Now we'll play by mine. <laughs> I bet you never saw that in a duel. Perkins, Hagman, kill anyone who tries to stop us. Judge. Let's go. You will stay exactly where you are. Says who? Sorry. Damn waste, Harper. It was damn murder, sir. Sergeant Harper. Sir. Come with me. I have a job for you. Put these on. Say your farewells and hurry up. You mind yourself now. And him. I love you an awful lot. I'm going to ask you where we're going, sir. Over the hill, Sergeant, too far away. Uh, which hill is it? How far? Questions, questions, all questions, and mostly no answer. When this war's over, Will you go back home, Sergeant? If I'm alive, me, Ramon, and the baby will head home. If I'm dead, and they bury me here, my spirit will soar straight back to Ireland. So you believe in ghosts, do you, Sergeant? I believe in God the Father, God the Son, 
and the she riding the wind. <laughs> Here's a ghost for you, Sergeant Harper. Shit! You all right? I've been happier. against two. Good odds. Oh, shite. You should remember the man who got down on his knees, drunk, mind you, and crawled on her floor begging her ladyship to sleep with him. Bugger. I'd remember him. God save Ireland. Very cold weather for the time of the year. The nights are drawn in. That wasn't a very polite move now, ma'am. Bloody freezing. Must be the weather, ma'am. Did he interrogate her? Oh, he was at her all night, sir. I'm going to get him out, sir. You can't do that. Why not? With respect, sir. The British Army needs every man it has. The British Army needs a lot of things, sir. But what it does need is Major Sharp. He might already be dead. <laughs> I've heard that one before, sir. The Army needs you, Sergeant. And it needs the Chosen Men. Me and the Chosen Men will be back in no time at all, sir. Like the she's right in the wind. See that you are, Sergeant. Thank you, sir. Oh, baby. Patrick. Patrick, Jose, Hackman, Cooper, Harris, Perkins, Harper. Called him after the midwife. <laughs> <laughs> Join up with a man called Sharp, lads. You mean we're gonna die? No, Perkins, lad. Mr. Sharp may be dead in the eyes of the French, but to you and me, he's as lively as a me. Just a minute. How, Sarge? You know the army boys. They couldn't hang a curtain, even if they tried. <laughs> 